Marika Korenbete, for all of us, a winger. Up in uh, Narea on a Moshi, it's three hour drive inland. It's bush, the highlands, a lot of mountains and uh, rocks. Village life is um, sort of uh, easy in some ways and uh, hard in other ways as well. No electricity, uh, no network, no ovens. Obviously, there's no like electric stuff for, for cooking and sort of things. The kids, every day is your job to go collect firewoods. For the, to cook the meal for three times a day. Obviously, you go to school. It's roughly around 10 to 15k walk uh, every day, uh, back and forth. Come back after school, we probably pretty much you're running back on the way, going back to the village and playing touch rugby before, before dawn. The way we play touch foot is um, not a good uh, uh, rugby field. It's, Kind of flat, another slope, and up the hill a bit. Half was muddy, and half with the long grass. While you're playing touch rugby, you have to see where you run as well. And you know, you just you, you know, we run there every day. You know, you sort of used to where the hole is, where the rock is. Up in where I'm from, there's no competition there. I didn't play till I was 17. Uh, playing rugby till I was 17. End of that year, I was got picked for the Fiji under 18 to come over to Australia. Yeah, from there, it's, the rest was history. I was in the bush my entire life, you know, even moving to the super city was, uh, you know, was a big shock. Then one year later, you know, on the plane, move over to Australia, and um, a few clubs were interested in signing me, you know, it's uh, just like a dream, you know. I, I don't think so I can do it. Come over to Australia, leave my parents and family, busy, different language, different lifestyle. You know, it's just a shock. Looking back, you know, it's just uh, amazing how, how I adapt to, the, to this kind of lifestyle. Random people like messaging me on Instagram or Facebook, just how proud I, uh, they are, you know, for me, uh, representing Australia. Because Fiji is a very small populated country. Someone from that small island uh, represent another country, you know, it's put the uh, name of the country there. Plus, it's uh, motivates some uh, young Fijian who uh, want to make it big too in the world. It's something I'm proud of as well, and hopefully I'm, I motivate some young kids back at home, you know, to pursue the same dream that I did. To represent Australia, it's an, uh, it's an honor, you know, it's uh, something I'm going to remember the whole of my life, you know, it's a um, country that, you know, gave a lot to me and my family. To pay back what this country has done to me, you know, it's something that, you know, we're going to feel, this one to make, make my teammates proud and make the country proud. Bola Vinagaviti, happy 50th Independence Day. We love you and see you soon. Nakabagalib.